I'm Naomi Nachman, and this is Sunny Side Up. Hi everyone, I am so excited about my next guest on Sunny Side Up. I have with me Charlene Amino. Hi. Hi Charlene, welcome to this I'm show. I'm so happy this finally happened. I am thrilled and Charlene, you wear so many hats, or should I say wigs? I'm a little busy, but it keeps me from getting bored. Baruch Hashem, I'm, I'm happy. Okay. Busy beats board. Okay, I like that. I, I like that. And it's just so fabulous to have you here. Thank you. And to cook Persian food. Yes, so I'm Persian and I've been in the kitchen cooking with my spatula and my apron since I'm seven years old. Wow. We know how to make this dish in our sleep. If you have ever been to a friend who's Persian, if you've ever been to their home for Shabbat, if you've ever been to a Persian restaurant, you know, no matter what diet you're on, no matter who you are, when Tadik hits the table, you're gonna have some Tadik. So we're gonna show I you. I can't wait to try this because I'm not a big rice eater. Anybody you knows told me. me. We're gonna convert you today. We're gonna force you to love rice, but we're gonna have you really, really devour my tadig. Okay. The first and most important part about making a killer tadig is making a killer rice. Okay. Being Persian, we're pros on rice. You want to make sure you always work with long grain white basmati rice. It's a really a long skinny it's grain. Fluffy, it's, it has this gorgeous aroma and it is absolutely delicious. This in Persian is called dam pocht. Dam pocht means par cooked. How do you par like cook rice? Just walk me through that. Okay, so first put out a white tablecloth or a white garbage bag. Get one of your cuties to come and help you. You actually check every Cutie grain. Cutie means your kids. Your kids, I'm just right. translating. Yes. You're gonna check the, the rice, you're gonna weed out any bugs or any dirt or any rocks or anything. Remember, okay. it's coming out of a bag from the ground, so you wanna, you wanna remove any garbage from that. My family's minhag is to wash the rice three times. We wash the rice three times, pouring a lot of water in, and we mix it and we pour it out, do it again, and then do it again. And then again. The third time, it's good to let the rice soak a little bit because when the rice is soaking, it actually elongates the grains. When I buy an entire like, 10 pound bag of rice, I'll have my kids come and help me in the kitchen. We'll put a huge white tablecloth. We'll already check the entire bag from ahead of time. So when we're ready to use it, it's ready to go. You don't have to ch check it anymore okay, at that point. That's, that's a great my idea. My hacks for busy mamas. The way we measure it is about four cups of water per one cup of rice. That's the measurement. Wow, it's a whole different ratio than what we're typically used to. Right. So we're going to have water being brought up to boil, heavily salted with a little bit of oil, regular oil, and then you're just going to pour the soaked rice into the pot. You're going to continue to stir so it doesn't clump up together. Basically, you're making pasta, but it's rice. Once you taste it and it's hard enough that it doesn't become mushy and it's salty enough and it has a good flavor, that's when you drain it, throw it into colander and the very important thing is once it's in the colander you want to pour a little bit of cold water on it because when you pour all of it into the colander if there's nine ten cups of rice they're going to continue to cook it within themselves because it's so hot so if you pour cold water over the rice that's in the colander you're slowing down, down the, the cooking, cooking process. process okay almost like shocking it yeah exactly right you want to have the taddy be about an inch and a half to two inches of thickness at the bottom of the pot okay so depending on the size of the pot you're going to determine how much rice i put in this about two cups of rice so once you have the rice you're going to pour a very very secret special element this is as persian as it gets secret this is rose water Ooh. rose water is what gives the phenomenal Can aroma I smell, it? smell that is that amazing oh it smells like roses it's so <laughs> Literally. delicious is it actually water soaked in rose petals you know what no idea it just says rose water on the bottle and that's what we use so we're just going to pour I'm so bad with measurements. Growing up in a very busy kitchen, we never really paid attention to the measurements. I would watch my mom's hand, and I would see, she would go like that. So when I explain to my kids how to cook, I say, a swirl, and then you're going to pour two eggs, of course, check them for blood. This is the saffron. It smells like an Eden, and it <laughs> creates the most gorgeous color tadig you've ever seen, but a little bit goes a long way. It is so heavily concentrated. It typically comes in these little, cute little containers, but these are the long grain. We don't cook with the long grain. We have to have it ground. Do you this. grind it yourself? I do. Coffee grinders, $8 on Amazon. Pour the saffron in, you grind it, and that's it, you're ready to go. So you pour a little bit of this, and then, so you already have two eggs, saffron, a little bit of rose water, and then you're going to pour boiling water to kind of get them all 
to blend and then you're going to mix, mix, mix. I'm so fascinated by this process. It, you don't even know. Once you get it to have these beautiful bubbles that you could see, it's like, can you see that? It comes out so gorgeous. You can gorgeous. make a pancake from it. Yes, you Ooh. can. So then let's heat this up. We are going to pour. Does this have to get hot first? It does. Now, the, the, one of the major secrets to making a really good tadik is to use non-stick pots. Find a very good non-stick pot or a cast iron pot. You're going to oil the bottom of it. We're going to have it just heat up a little. You hear that sizzle? Yeah. That's exactly what you want. You want a little sizzle, not too much. Okay? It's a light sizzle. And then we're going to... Yes, you're gonna shake it, shake it, shake it so that you make it evenly distributed. I'm shaking it! Okay, Perfect. cool. And that's it. And you're going to have this that. This is taddy. That is taddy. No now, way, I thought it was a whole mixture and a whole what to do. Now, there are many ways to make taddy. This is the classic with the saffron. I did not put potatoes in this, but I'm going to show you. I actually have a pre-made gorgeous pot of tadik with the potatoes at the bottom that we're gonna flip out and show you. Point. This is gonna have plain white rice on top of it. The other one that I'm gonna show you has white rice with dried dill and potatoes sauteed. But if I was to wanted to add that in, I would just fold that in now? So what you would do is you would have it folded in with the rice first and then you would pour it in. Dried dill. Dried dill. I can't be bothered to kosher greens. I, I, I just put in Dry, dry dill. So much and how do you get the potatoes in there? So first you take a regular Idaho potato, you, you peel it, wash it, slice it, you lay them flat in the bottom of the pot, you have the oil sizzling for that so that when you drop the potatoes it's, in, it, it starts browns to right away. It's delicious. Crispy. I, almost like, almost like a chips. Exactly. Exactly. Almost like chips. And great minds really think a lot. Right. I know. So once you have them sizzling, that's when you add the green rice on top of it. Oh, this is fantastic. Amazing. I am so excited about this. So okay. This is gorgeous. You see the edges? You see right over there the edges? Yeah. The bubbling? Yeah. You see that beginning? That tells you that the tadig is almost ready for the in for the rest of the rice to join. Okay, so you want to see like almost a brown ring exactly. around the edges. Kind of like what you see with potato corn. Exactly. Oh, good. Exactly. And you're going to want to give your pot a little shake to make sure the inside isn't wobbly or watery. Okay, yeah, it feels pretty firm. Perfect. So, since we know that's pretty ready, we're going to begin to add rice on, on top. top. Do you keep like ready cooked rice, this parboiled rice in I the actually, fridge? I actually do. When I make my rice on Fridays, Erev Shabbat, I make a gigantic pot and I put some of the rice with the tadik, with the two different kinds of tadik, and the rest of the rice, I don't double cook like we're doing right now. I leave it part cooked. So in case my kids want it, I can just whip it up for them really fast, however they like it. Do now that. that we've added all the par-cooked rice on top of the taddy that was pretty ready, you're going to drizzle some oil, regular oil, on top. Uh huh. And then a little bit of boiling water. You to don't help have it. to mix it? Nope. Really? A little bit of boiling water to help it cook. And for the life of me, I don't know why we do this, but every Persian girl will tell you. Because your you grandmother did it. Because grandma, grandma does it this way. How do you say grandma in Persian? Madarjun. Madajun. Okay, I'm Bobby. Okay, that's very normal. <laughs> and once you put paper towels, you put the lid on top and you lower the flame and you let it cook for about 15, 20 minutes. This cooked for about 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. And now I'm going to show you how you know it's ready. Okay, ready? See that? Oh. Did you see that steam puff? I love that. It is amazing. That, it's like when you take the lid off the chalice. Exactly. This is how you know your rice is ready, the tadik is cooked, and it's going to be delicious. So you're going to remove the paper towels, and I'm going to show you how to flip out a perfect tadik. Ready? I'm so, exci I'm, I'm so excited. You were to born see ready, this. Naomi. I was born ready for this. Okay. I'm going to eat rice. I'm actually going to use two of these because I wanted something sturdy, and. Watch, you are going to go like this. Ah. Oh. Ta-da! That was like almost like and a voila. ballet movement. <gasps> voila! Oh my god! This absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, okay. Look at that. Did you garnish it with anything? So I don't. How do we eat it? We cut it like a pizza. We cut it very, very beautifully into eight little slices. And this does not last. Now, this is the flip out of the dill rice with the potatoes on okay, the bottom. Okay, I can't wait to see this one. Okay. Oh, well, that sounded amazing. That, we have a small, a, a smallish plate, but that's okay. We're gonna figure this out. Oh, that looks great. Look at that. 
That's oh, look at these crispy potatoes. So gorgeous. So that is the dill rice, and this is absolutely a huge hit in my home. Everyone loves it. Everybody just, when these two come out to the table, I don't care what you're serving. This gets eaten first. Amazing. Let's, I want, let's dig in. All right. Let's All right. Do it. Whoops. Can, like Go this? Go for it. Yes. See how crispy that is? Oh, yeah. I'm fit. Can hear the crunch as I cut it. Here you go. Some for you. Thank you. And some for me. I'm gonna scoop up some rice for you. Okay, here we go. I've got a little rice. Can you fold in meat into this? Sure. That's called tachin. There you go. Tachin is when you fold in some chicken and cranberries into it. Comes out gorgeous. Okay, let's try Ready? this. Mm -hmm. It's super crunchy. Mm -hmm. So good. I love the colour. I love the taste. This is great. I learned a whole new cooking. See? Now cooking you technique. can present a tadig to your guests. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go right in for that dill. We're gonna eat it right off a plate. I like the I like the darkest, mm. most burnt potato in the tadig. Yeah. I'm grabbing a potato. This is amazing. Right? I like it with the dill. It's so good. That is a dill. Tadid, dill, mm. Charlene, well, thank you so much for coming on the show. My pleasure. This is mm. fantastic. I had the best time. And thank you for teaching me and everyone watching a brand new skill today. I'm so excited. For this recipe and more just like it, go to kosher.com. Can we do this in one take? One take. Okay, let's do it. Let's, let's do dig it. in. Let's Amazing. dig in. This and more. No, for this, <laughs> for this recipe <laughs> and more recipe. Once I start, I go downhill. Shh. For we are doing so well. <laughs>